Yes, guys, Team of the Year has been here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. But today, I wanted to talk about last minute investments, preparations, and just kind of what to expect with Team of the Year midfielders coming out. Now, of course, attackers came out. You saw the market go kind of berserk for a little bit, and it's been a lot of fun, and it's going to continue to be pretty fun. But I wanted to take a deep dive into the midfielders here just because they're going to be, you know, a little bit different. Uh, we are going to be getting them on Sunday. So, you know, you're going to be seeing packs and lightning rounds on a Sunday, and that can cause a little bit of mayhem for the market. We could see, you know, stuff kind of drop down, weaken league sell off, and all that kind of good stuff. Now, the time of recording this video, Footbin has not yet updated the Team of the Year stats. Um, that doesn't really matter too much because we are going to be looking at more of last year and what kind of happened to the midfielders um, just during last year's promo FIFA 20 and stuff like that. So if we go ahead and look at KDB to start off with, his team of the year did something very, very interesting, and he was a little bit different than the attackers. Now, some of the attackers like Mbappe, they're really, really meta. They're going to be fine with the supply coming in. But when midfielders come in, that does shake things up a little bit more because the midfielders tend to be a little bit more cheaper. Whereas Mbappe's price, you know, is ridiculously expensive. Uh, we won't see Kevin De Bruyne, we won't see Jorginho, and we won't see Conte come in at these super, super high prices. Now, last year, KDB, he opened up at about 3 mil. But only two days later, he was down a whole mil, down to 2 mil on Xbox. In return, this is going to bring a lot of those icons down, especially the mid-tiers. And you might see other versions of say these cards any really good versions the only one i could really consider is n'golo kante Jorginho's like gold card he won't move much at all but uh you know like a, a kante card may dip a little bit as his team of the year comes down in price uh not that not that it's going to happen over the sunday period but it, it could but going ahead and looking at kdb obviously he was in packs for about two days before he went out with the defenders coming in you can see what happened is while he's in PAX, his price only came down, and then when he left PAX, he did go up a tiny bit before being added back into PAX and coming down a whole lot. Now, last year, his price did end up being around 2 mil once he was officially in and supplied and all that, and I'd imagine that's going to be a very similar price that we're going to see this year, too. It might be even a little cheaper, honestly. This market tends to be a lot cheaper than others. If we go ahead and take a look at N'Golo Kante, for example, he actually had a team of the year card in FIFA 20, I want to say it was. And his card was also a very interesting card in this market. So with Conte's card, obviously he's probably the more in-demand midfielder just because in-game he just feels a little bit better than KDB does. But he did the same thing. He opened up at about 3 mil, ended up dropping down to 2 mil. And you'll see that he kind of stayed flat, uh, went up when he was out of packs. And we went back in the packs. He did dip a little bit and then out of packs after team of the year. He kind of stayed pretty steady around this 2.2, 2.1 range. And again, I think that's going to be something very similar that we see this year. Although I do think it's going to be a little bit cheaper. I think most of these midfielders are probably going to sit at one and a half mil. Now, Jorginho, obviously, he's never had a team of the year card before. And he actually looks like he's going to be really good and... Uh, Regardless, though, I think he's going to sit at a very similar price. Italian links will probably will probably make him just a little bit cheaper than N'Golo Kante, but he's still going to be a very good card, too. Now, what does this mean for the midfielders and the icon midfielders? Well, if we go ahead and take a look at Mateus from last year, he seems to be the icon I like to use in comparison a lot just because his price last year was very similar to what it is to these team of the year cards are. And if we go ahead and take a look at last year's and we scroll on down here to the team of the year time, you can see that his card really just kind of moved a lot over this month. This, if you look down here, you see a big drop kind of heading into team of the year. Uh, when team of the year did come out, you know, we saw this a little bit of a dip come in and then he rose afterwards. And I think that's what's going to happen to icons. I think you are going to see a dip on these big icons, especially when these team of the year cards get introduced. But once the full team is in packs and done for, um, they're going to go up. Icons, these top tiers are going to do very well. So Mateus is a card that I would keep an eye on because, again, he was kind of at the team of the year price. You know, he sat at about 1.5 mil in the panic. He had dipped down, but he ended up going up after team of the year came out. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. And even if we take a look at the 93 version, which was even better, you'll see kind of a similar trend around that January period, a kind of dip in the lead up to team of the year. But when Team of the Year was over, we saw a really nice rise into February. And right here, this is a perfect graph here. 
So you could see when Team of the Year did come out, he dipped down quite a bit. But once Team of the Year was done, we saw a huge rise up and he went up about another 300k. So I think a lot of those big icons, big expensive cards are going to do something very similar. You can even compare this to any midfielder promo cards that are very high in price. You will see a dip when Team of the Year cards come out, but then I think you'll see a lot of buying afterwards because people realize these Team of the Year cards are expensive, but once those Team of the Year cards do find their normal prices, uh, you'll just see people buying other versions. They'll be very expensive. Not everyone can afford them, of course. Now, as I said, with the rest of the market, we are likely going to see a, we're probably going to see a Team of the Year sell-off kind of happen. Not so much Team of the Year. I mean, more like weekend league sell-off with Team of the Year out, and that's just going to be due to the fact that, you know, this is the last weekend. A lot of people that, you know, I've kind of watched and talked to, a lot of them are saving their packs for next week anyways. And, you know, they're probably going to be buying to play weekend leagues, save up some last minute packs and stuff like that. So you do have to be a little bit careful. Now, as I said, we're going to be seeing probably a weekend league sell off. And this is just going to be due to the fact that, you know, everybody is playing for their last minute packs and all that. But not many people are going to be opening all their packs, say, for this weekend uh, because everyone's saving them for when the full team's in. So you're going to see a lot of selling and you're not going to see any buying heading into it. Nobody really is going to be, I, I, I don't know. I feel like we're going to get a lot of upgrades and stuff. And I feel like a lot of people are willing to sell their teams in order to craft a lot of packs. And that's just what everyone does. And with all the supply we're going to be getting from now until next Friday, I just feel like the market is not in a good place if anything is in packs. I know I said that you guys could probably see the market go up a little bit from Friday into Saturday. And, you know, we have a little bit in some cards. But I, I just think that we're going to be getting that weekend leak sell off very fast. And as I said, it's probably a quick flip for your teams. I, I would just kind of stay away, steer clear, be liquid for the rest of this promo especially on these cards that are going to be in packs still you're going to see a lot of them really start to come down in price and it, it's it's just going to be it's going to be interesting to see and who knows how people will even react to cards out of packs i mean we could just see a ton of selling and no buying on the market this week as people just of course craft packs i mean right now in the sbc tabs we've gotten you know a good amount of stuff we've seen a lot of just sbcs already player sbcs we're going to be getting them all week likely we're probably going to get more puzzle sbcs and stuff like that so just keep your eyes kind of peeled for that i think you guys will you know it, it'll be fun of course guys if you want more kind of info on team of the year you want to talk with a community and stuff join the discord that's linked down below and of course if you want just more team of the year info and all that good stuff you want to see what packs are coming later in the store this week check out this video right here on your screen now good fun thanks for watching guys have fun with team of the year peace